Hi, I'm Rhys Gadsby, Economic Analyst at Glenigan, and in this short video I'll be discussing our forecast for energy construction over the next 24 months. Over the last three years, the energy sector has been dominated by work starting on a number of major offshore wind farms and on the Hinkley Point C nuclear reactor. Energy projects with a combined value of £4.5 billion started on site last year, down from a peak of £16 billion in 2016. However, existing major projects are continuing to support the value of construction output. The ONS estimates that construction work totalling £7 billion was undertaken on electricity projects last year. Major projects such as Hinkley Point C are expected to sustain the sector activity over the next two years. Plans for further, nu further nuclear plants at Sizewell and on Anglesey are not expected to start on site within this period. In contrast, the pipeline of further offshore wind farms remains strong and is expected to help lift sector activity over the next two years. Technological improvements and economies of scale have substantially reduced the kilowatt hour cost of offshore electricity and the proportion of UK energy provided by renewables is expected to continue to rise during 2021 and 2022. The government has also signalled that it's relaxing the planning restrictions on onshore wind farms, which are the most cost effective forms of generating capacity. This relaxation could fuel a rapid rise in onshore projects. There was a large pipeline of proposed schemes that were in development prior to the earlier change to government policy in 2015, many of which could be revived by their promoters. In addition to renewables, there are a number of proposals for gas-fired plants which are planned to ensure that the grid has the flexibility to bridge potential short-term shortfalls in supply, either during times of unexpectedly high demand or when renewables fall short. Overall, the energy construction sector is forecast to grow strongly during 2021 and 2022, supported by major existing projects such as Hinkley Point, new gas-fired capacity and a sustained rise in renewable projects including on and offshore wind.